What is going on YouTube? Sir, what are coming at you with another Q&A video? I haven't done one for like over a year and this is my 250k sub Q&A. It's a little late, but fuck it. Let's let's get right into the Q&A. Okay, first up we have Ariel Malone. All right, Winter, have you ever thought about getting married and having a little Sir Winter running around? Uh, it's something I have thought about in the past, but recently I've just been kind of focusing on the career and whatever and I'm not really interested in having kids. You know, I've got a niece and a nephew and they can <laughs> they can wear down their welcome pretty damn quickly. <laughs> I love them to death, but oh my, they're a lot of work. Next up, Mr. Black Knight. Q&A, Winter, would you ever consider moving to the US? Love the vids and keep up the good work, man. Uh, I have considered work, moving to the States for work, but then I thought, you know, I'm not going to be a fucking... I'm not going to last as a YouTuber forever. I'd have to... Uh, find something a little more stable and and whatever unless i get really big and make heaps of money then fuck yeah but no nah, I, I i don't think i'll be moving to the states anytime soon i'm not sure because you know minimum wage over there and all that kind of fucking sucks in case this youtube thing suddenly just goes kaput mr kez 123 asks why did you start youtube by the way congrats on 250k well thank you mr kez and why did I start YouTube? I wanted to... People go into this and say, you know, I really wanted to do YouTube just for fun. Like, I, that's the only reason I did it. Um, me... I think... A, I'm gonna say a lot of those people are fucking full of shit. Me, I went in because it is fun, yes. But I would have loved to have done it as a career, which I am now doing, which is fucking dope. Um... So I get to do one of the coolest jobs in the world as a career while, you know, having fun as well. And don't get me wrong, this job is fucking stressful as hell, but, you know, it, it beats my previous career, which was butchering by a fucking shit ton. I love, I love doing YouTube. I really do. It's Tommy671. This is just me. When Sir Winter says, with another, makes me think like he's getting penetrated, but grats. Congrats, he said. Uh, the answer to that question is yes. Infinitely finite. At Sir Winter, do you watch anime? If so, what is your favorite? Yeah, oh fuck, I love anime. I uh, recently, just about a month ago, I watched uh, both the first and second season of Rick and Morty. Yeah, it was fucking dope. Yeah, anime. Yeah, love, love me some anime. Uh, Oscar JW Winter, have you ever had a girl go down on your asshole while she jerks you off? <laughs> if you haven't, mate, you're not living. Well, let me ask you this, Oscar JW. Let me, let me. Uh, answer your question by asking another question. Did you kiss her afterwards? Did you give her a thank you kiss? You fucking sicko. <laughs> Breaking ankles. What's your favorite Australian beer? Two is extra dry, motherfucker. I'm having one right now. Hell yeah. Death's Joker. When and where did you meet Bizzlesnaff and Thrall? P.S. I love the chemistry between you three. You have a brilliant sense of humor and don't rage a lot. And even when you do, it becomes something you can laugh about. Um, when and where did I meet Bizzle Snap? Oh, fuck. I met Bizzle Snap uh, about a year ago, maybe. Just a little bit less than a year ago. I met him on a Rust server, just randomly. He was about to log off. I was running around trying to get some of those dank social interactions. And then we went and uh, beat up some trees together and whatever. And Thrill, I th think I met him probably about five months ago, six months ago, something like that. And, um... Where did I meet him? Uh, it was at a community event where he was running at an AK guy with a bolty in his hands and expecting to kill them. <laughs> Go tweet that at him, by the way. He fucking loves that. <laughs> Go tweet at him and make fun of him for running at AK guys with bolties and expecting to kill him. Here's his Twitter. I'm sorry. Jesse Ryan, coming in with that question. My question for you, Sir Winter, is what do you believe the meaning of life is? Something philosophical for you to ponder. Give, give you a break from the mundane questions, at least temporarily. Uh, I believe there is no meaning to life. I think, um, you know, we just came from cells, whatever, and there's just no meaning. We just fucking evolved. Now we're here asking some deep questions that fucking, I don't know, I just don't think there's any answer to because just no meaning to life. Life life is just life. Just be a, be a good person and all of that shit and you'll be fine. Odin, 1998. All right, here's my question. Why does Biss not wear pants? Uh, Biss doesn't wear pants because he said it's for mobility purposes and whatever. I think I think he doesn't wear pants because he's just proud personally, but I don't know. 
Ooh, what's this name? Tidge? No! <laughs> Tidge? No! So, Winter, do you know without a silencer you do more damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I use a silencer, I get a fuckload of comments. Uh, you know. Winter, you, you do more damage without a silencer. I mean, you fucking so shit. I mean, who's getting the kills, motherfuckers? I mean, you can't use the AK on hard mode? What's wrong with you? Nah, the AK is fucking awesome with a silencer. I love it. Question, what or who inspired you to be a Rust YouTuber? There's no real inspiration for being a Rust YouTuber specifically, but um, at the time, well, beforehand, I was uploading Rust videos to a separate channel. I can't, I can't even remember what it's called, but they were, it was like fucking five videos or something, and it was Legacy Rust. And I think I re-uploaded one of them to this channel as, as some kind of, like, I don't know, I might have been around 40k subs or whatever. And, um, but at the time when I was, like, doing the Legacy videos, I was watching a YouTuber called Pangino. He's got about, I don't know, I, I checked his channel not long ago and he's got about 40k subs. Um, yeah, he was awesome. I loved his survival stuff on DayZ and Rust. It was pretty fucking dope. Yeah, that's, that's probably about it for that. Jared, what do you want to see in Rust in the future? Those mother fucking air balloons and climbing that'd be dope too ag and gruger q a would you put a toothpick in your no fuck you can't cunt off cunt off cut, get off go away cage the rage gaming hey sir winter i always wanted to ask a youtuber this question do you consider yourself a higher priority than others like if someone wanted to be your friend would you be like no, I have 2,500,000 subs. Or would you become a good friends with them? I see, uh... I see you met so many cool and interesting people, but you never play with them. Have a good day, mate. Well, here's, here's a good example for this. The only three people I play with are Bizzlesnap, who didn't know who I was when I met him. Thrill, who had... I don't even think... I think he had, like, a really tiny YouTube channel, like, less than 10 subs or something. And Skittles, who didn't do YouTube at all either. Uh, they're the three people that I play with mostly. And, um, yeah, so the... No. <laughs> the answer to your question is, no, I don't consider myself to be a higher priority than other people. Uh, yeah, I've met some cool people along the way. A lot of cool people, but... Uh, they've been funny, but there's been no... Like, when I meet someone, I know when there's chemistry. I would normally bring those people along. And so far, I've only met three of them. Fluka Pillow 28. Why do you not play other games? I do play other games. Um, I don't upload a lot of other games to my channel simply because I don't think uh, you guys would enjoy watching me play The Witcher 3 or Rocket League or something like that. Some of you would, but not a very big majority. Um, so I kind of... Like, I, w I was rust locked for a long time. Now I feel like I'm survival genre locked. So that's that's good for me. I like that. I like being survival genre locked. That's fine. I get a chance to play other survival games, upload them, get the views, get the people enjoying the content. You know, it's a win-win for everyone. Will you show us Bizzle's face? Well, Bizzle's made a pledge that he will do a face reveal when my channel makes a million subs. Everyone, you better get subbing. Stuart, hashtag, ask Winter. Do you think Russ was in a better state last year? Old PvP system, old TC, old foliage and shadows, good old crossy. Uh, no. Rust is progressing very well overall. Uh, I miss blueprints, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you can either complain so much without coming off like a massive cunt. So, I think Rust is a lot better than what it was. Definitely. Uh, the old graphics... Not as good as the new graphics, of course. Old TC, where, where you could, like, make fucking 50 TCs and stick them all around your base. Nah, I don't like that. I like the one TC or the stacked on floors TC. That's fine by me, especially with the twig update. Don't know what you mean by the old PvP system, though. Jack and Hagar! A man has a question. Are you excited for Game of Thrones Season 7? And if so, what do you think will happen in the new season? Fucking hell, you can tell this is an old... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, you can tell I'm late to reply to this. <laughs> uh, yes, I was very excited for Game of Thrones se Season 7. And yes, I am really enjoying Game of Thrones Season 7. And what do you think will happen in the new season? Uh, it's already kind of happened what I thought would happen. Uh, I'm just hoping some more things happen. Some bigger battles, you know? To that effect. But yeah, thank you Jack and Hagar for stopping by. I like offensive memes. 
Where did you get the name Sir Winter? The name Sir Winter comes from... Okay, it's the Sir part. comes from Game of Thrones. Uh, S-E-R. Sir is what they call their knights instead of S-I-R. And Winter because at the time it was my favorite season. But being in the... You know, being at the tail end of winter right now, I am fucking over it. Come on. Bring on spring. Bring on summer. Jesus Christ. Lewis Gibbs coming in with a question. What is the most emotional game you have ever played? Uh, off the top of my head, I'm going to say Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Man, that shit got me teary at the end. That was a fucking really emotional game. It was fucking awesome too. Uh, would recommend. Would recommend. Highly recommend. Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Great game. Professor. Do you enjoy playing solo in a group? Uh, I used to enjoy playing solo, but now it's just too much with like how Rust is going. Um... You can do it, but, it, you know, you can't do it on, like, the big servers like Rustralasia, Rustopia, Rustified. Like, you want to go play solo on there. No wonder people complain so much, like, new players as well, especially, who go there, try to play solo, and they just get fucking shit on by a group of five with AKs. Like, you know, you need to pick your servers if you want to play solo. Solo duo trio, it's doable, but still, it, it's a fucking pain. Like, normally that squad of three is rolling out in a squad of three. And, and plus, I really enjoy the company of Biz as well, and, and my crew, so it's, I, I like playing in a group. Hunted AB, are you a fan of sports, and if so, what sport? I used to be a fan of NRL up until the recent past, maybe two years. It just got too fucking much with the complaining and everything from the commentators and all the people who, like, work on the fucking board of the game. It's, it's, you know, oh, it's an absolute fucking disgrace that he's... That he's punched him like, oh god, he should be simbin, he should be reported, he should be mine, blah, 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 blah. You know, that type of shit. Fuck, I hate that shit. You know, people want to watch these games to watch people get fucking smashed, you know? And now they're just trying to take it away. It's just become a very effeminate uh, sport, which is fucking <laughs> so boring. Newbie brah, have you met Bizzle in person? Nope, but next year. Digzel Gamer, Winter, what was your most anticipated game for the rest of 2017? Mordehau? I get to play it this month, I think. More to how, baby. Kitten all over that. That reminds me. I got to message him. Thanks, Digzel Gamer. Appreciate it. Unlucky fried kitten. <laughs> so, Winter, my favorite episode was your very first encounter with Bizzle Snap. What is your most memorable moment in Rust? I'm going to have to say that time that I uh, was pinned on the dome with a guy called Pew 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 when uh, the bow aiming first changed and it was all retarded. Um... That was the most memorable moment for me. I'll show a little bit of it right now. Should we run? I think, I think we need to clear a path. All right. I think we've cleared a path. Get out of here. I got the other one! Yes. Good job, one. Wake up! And you behind me. Go on. Go the other one. Do not go by the Let's go! I had a Let's go! <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. Good memories. Spinning Waffle. Do you have any siblings? If so, how many? I have two younger twin sisters and an older brother. Cindy Walcott. What is your favorite ice cream? Uh, Ben and Jerry's triple choc fudge one or whatever it is. Which is funny because I'm not even a massive fan of chocolate. But yeah, that one's fucking dope. Yeah, it's really grotesque, but I like it. <laughs> it's overkill. Trance. Uh, why do you love Silent So This is my Q&A question. Here we go, guys. This is why I love and use Silencer. I use the Silencer because it reduces recoil a little bit more. It's silent. You get to jump on people. Uh, it doesn't make fucking heaps of noise and attracts multiple AK groups to your position. Uh, I can get the kills with it, which is fine by me. I, get, I, I win most of my fights versus guys with non-silenced AKs. So all those people who complain in chat that I use a silenced AK, I mean, come on, guys. You can't call me trash when I'm using the AK on hard mode and winning most of my fights. And that's why I love the silencer. Winter, what is your favorite show? P.S. Do you love me? Because I love you, no homo, fam, winky face. 
Favorite show, favorite show, favorite show. Sopranos. Easy. Hands down. Zafir Garnett. For the Q&A, what is your favorite game aside from Russ? Also, do you have pets? My favorite game is The Witcher 3. And I have a big cat named Buddy. A little cat named Cricket. And our newest addition is our happy little bundle of furring, shitting, and pissing in the house. Dog called Riley. DG, Q&A, have you ever been to the Pink Lake? Have you ever seen the giant hunter spider? <laughs> no, I've never been to the Pink Lake. But it was funny, the other night I called my sister out to the kitchen. I said, come here. Come here. She comes out, she stands right in front of me where, she, where I think she's going to stop. And I say, look up. She looks up, there's this giant fucking huntsman spider. That's what I'm assuming you mean by hunter spider, by the way. Huntsman spider. <laughs> right above her. And she fucking screams, ducks, dives, fucking duggies the fuck out of the way. <laughs> and she fucking... She... Oh, fuck. Oh, how could she call herself Australian? <laughs> Golden Loaf 20 for the QA. When you started, you did you expect yourself to get to this point? Fuck no. No one ever does, really, I don't think. Uh, unless they got a big buddy, like, fucking shouting them out. But nah, never. And it's pretty fucking dope, and I'm very grateful for it, too. It's fucking sick. Anyway, guys, I th that's the end of the Q&A. I scrolled down to my YouTube comment sections on the video where I asked to leave questions, which was over a month ago. And, you know, I scrolled down for the appropriate <laughs> amount that I think I would need. There was still tons of unanswered questions. But yeah, we'll do another Q&A in the future. But again, thank you guys so much for 250k subs. Really appreciate it. Sorry about the lack of uploads over the past two days. Two days or something like that. I'm just, I'm just feeling a little rust burnout at the moment. Um, we're gonna try and do the wipe tomorrow, so hopefully that all goes good. But anyway guys, if you like this video, if you like the answers to the questions, whatever, maybe leave a question in the comments and I might reply there. But we'll definitely do another Q&A later down the track. Thank you guys, if you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. We'll make this too, our